Today, I'm going to talk about how to download and install Visual Studio 2022. In the meantime, I just, I just wanted to request you all, if you like this video, then please share this video with all of your friends so that they can also get benefit of it. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can keep getting new videos as and when I upload a new video for you all. Let's start with the session today now, uh, whereas we will see how we can download and install Visual Studio 2022. So what I'm going to do here is, I have started Chrome and I'm going to say uh, Visual Studio 2022 download and we'll go to Microsoft website and let's open uh, Microsoft website here. And here, if you see, you have a uh, uh, you have an option to download Visual Studio 2022. You have got three options here, whether you want it to uh, download and install community version or professional or enterprise. I will have a separate video whereas I'll uh, talk about the difference between all these three versions. But for now, we are going to start with community version, uh, that is Visual Studio Community version 2022. So let's click on that. As in when you click on this, it will start the download. And if you see here, it has started the download. And once the download is completed, we can start, uh, we can execute this program. So uh, I think the download has completed. So uh, let's run this program. Okay, so uh, once you run this program, you have this option where it says, uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, you just you just need to click on yes here. Now, it says before you get started, you need to set up a few things so that you can configure uh, your installation. So let's continue. Let it configure whatever it needs to configure to get the installation done. So uh, first thing that uh, it has been downloaded and now installation is also done. Now let's do, uh, let's see what it is doing next. Now we get this screen here. So this is the screen where you can go ahead and select what are components of, uh, what are components you wanted to install along with Visual Studio 2022. So let's install the minimum minimal number of things that you really need to uh, you know to use for your ongoing task. Don't go ahead and deploy each and everything. You can deploy it later on as well. So let's start with uh, let's uh, de uh, deploy ASP.NET and then uh, let's deploy uh, .NET desktop development and. Uh, so, and then you have a geo development. You have, if you wanted to connect to a geo, you can select a geo development as well. If you wanted to uh, write Python code in Visual Studio 2022, you can select Python development as well. As well. And uh, if you are interested in uh, mobile app development and all in .NET, you can go ahead and deploy this, uh, deploy this as well. But at this moment, I'm not going to do all these things. I have selected ASP.NET and web development and uh, .NET desktop development but as and when you need more and more component you have lots of other components you can go ahead and uh, select all these things and you can install but yeah we will we will need one more thing and that is uh, data storage and processing and then this is for data science and anal analytics if you are interested in data scientists like data science and all you can deploy this uh, we are not uh, installing at this moment visual, Ex visual studio extension development uh, if you wanted to uh, install this, you can uh, install this as well for now. And uh, if when you are selecting all these options in the right hand side, you can see uh, there are some more checkboxes are getting uh, selected, right? And then the, it also says like what all things it will, you know, it is going to install. And it also says like you no, know, how much space it will require to install and all those things. And then you have an option install while downloading or download all and then install. So you can do uh, both uh, either of the things. It is based on your uh, uh, based on your internet speed. If you think your internet speed is good enough and you don't want to uh, wait for a longer time and all, and it's you know it's gonna work for you. So you can select install while downloading and you can click install. So what you have done is we have selected what all components we wanted to uh, install. There are multiple components uh, that you can uh, select. And if you see here also, you have some more components as well. What are components you wanted to install, right? So it says uh, we are going to install uh, .NET 4.6. 
and .NET 6.0 runtime, and then you have uh, uh, ML.NET model builder and other components, right? So uh, for now, what you are saying, what you are seeing is uh, it is going to install uh, uh, Microsoft.NET Framework 4.6. So let's start with the uh, minimal things for now, and uh, later on we'll see, you know, how to deploy the other components as well. Okay, so you just need to click install here and then it will start the installation. So it will also show me like, you know, what all things I already have here. So actually I had installed earlier Visual Studio uh, 2022 Enterprise Edition and then, uh, you know, that uh, uh, the preview version and all that I had uh, installed earlier. And then I also have Visual Studio 2019 uh, already there and then Visual Studio 2019 Community version. So now I am also installing Visual Studio 2022. Uh, community version so it's going to take some time uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll pause vi uh, this video for some time till the time that installation happens or uh, until I get any kind of any other pop-up or checkbox and if I get any kind of pop-up checkbox then I'll include that also in the video but for now I'm going to pause it for some time and you know we'll do a fast forward okay so if you see here uh, by now uh, the download has completed and now the installation is still continuing and so we'll wait for the installation to get completed and if there is any pop-up or something that appears uh i'll just show uh, those pop-ups as well to you let's continue let's see uh, how much time it uh, how much more time it takes okay so now if you uh the installation is getting completed if you see the installation percentage is completed up to 99 percent download was already completed so let's wait for a couple of minutes and the installation should get over so uh, uh I have selected here an option, uh, start after installation. So once the installation is done, it will start Visual Studio 2022 automatically. So now uh, Visual Studio 2022 installation is completed. If you see here, uh, I have now Visual Studio 2022 and in the background, uh, it is opening Visual Studio 2022. So if, you, if I want, I can go ahead and close this screen and let's see, it's starting Visual Studio 2022. So our installation is completed and it is ready to be used now. Thanks a lot for watching this video. That's all for now. And uh, in our my in my upcoming videos, uh, we will discover uh, more details on how to use Visual Studio, what are the new features that we have in Visual Studio 2022 and how we can write code in Visual Studio 2022. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please do share this uh, video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all.